Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steeler Nation what's on our minds. I'm Melanie Friedlander. Heading into Week 10, the Steelers sit at 5-3 and three, nearly halfway through the regular season. And while the offense is still struggling and the preseason expectations for a bully ball rushing attack have fizzled, Pittsburgh posted a season-high 166 rushing yards and 5.5 yards per attempt in their last game against the Tennessee Titans. The Jalen Warren versus Najee Harris debate that began in the preseason has finally quieted as the team continues with a 1-2 running back punch, using both players throughout each game. Najee Harris has been the starter in all eight games this year and has outsnapped Warren 2-1. to one. But with only 382 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns so far, Harris is on pace for his worst statistical season since coming into the league in 2021 after surpassing 1,000 yards rushing in his first two seasons. The same is true when it comes to his receiving output compared to prior years. When it comes to his future, this season is very important for Harris. As a former first-round pick, the team will need to decide whether to pick up his fifth-year option in the upcoming offseason by next May. If they do, he will likely be guaranteed to earn just over $7 million in the final additional year of his rookie contract. The other option, of course, would be to offer Harris a contract extension before his fourth season, adding both years and cash to keep him off the market and avoid having to use the franchise tag at any point. Harris may have some help in his bid to rack up more yards and touchdowns in the back half of the season. Now that rookie Broderick Jones is starting at right tackle, the run game should improve. And with offensive coordinator Matt Canada on the sideline and the play calling improving, not that it could have gotten worse, both Harris and Warren should benefit. Harris brings other values off the field. Possessing a remarkable maturity from day one, Harris served as team captain in just his second season. And while he may not have that big C on his jersey this year, he still takes on a leadership role. In the bye week, Harris stayed in Pittsburgh an extra day, giving up part of his break to work on the offseason play call selection. And when wide receiver George Pickens was under fire last week for expressing his frustration due to a lack of production on the field, Harris had the perfect words of advice for his teammate. If the Steelers' offense can continue to build on some of their recent success, Najee Harris can climb the stat sheet and may just earn himself a longer stay in Pittsburgh. There is still a lot of football left this season. That's my take. You can follow me on Twitter, at Girl Surgeon. Check out The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on SteelersDepot.com. And check out The Terrible Podcast with Dave Bryan and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.